Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ion X Craft. Uh, so I AFK'd overnight uh, in my little tower. It is now middle afternoon because we had a bunch of stuff we had to do today, but um, I checked the resources and uh, we had a bit of problem overnight. Uh, easy fix, I'm really glad I left this rail up, but uh, I was looking to make sure everything was still spawning and if you caught it, uh, these guys were struck by lightning. So now they're witches. I don't know how. That is a full block over their head. That is an easy fix. I'm just going to put lightning rods on all four of these corners. Um, I'll probably put one up in the middle uh, because I'm going to make this look like a satellite dish. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a problem. So I have to go in, kill the witches, and deal with that. I have not had that problem before with this design, so that is odd. But like I said, easy fix uh, just with some lightning rods that... I don't think I've ever actually crafted before. Next up, uh, I went through and we did make a lot of iron. So that's good. But there was another problem with that. Uh, when I finished AF King, there were three all iron golems wandering around down here, which was likely making this one not spawn and I need to get rid of that glass. So I have to, um, I would assume that they came from over here. They might have come from this one, so I may have to half slab this or take this down another level, which I'm fine with. But yeah, uh, I have to pr make a wall to prevent things from here going over there. Got to fix those uh, villagers and then put the uh, lightning rods on because that's just bizarre. I have never had it happen through a block, but I guess I was just unlucky for that one. So I'm going to future proof this with some lightning rods. And then I'm going to start working on some bridges over there to connect up the four corners, or points. I don't think I forgot about uh, the diamonds. I just had to go back through the uh, video and count how many. So, um, I had five deaths to building the iron farm. I had another four. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I had another four uh, in the nether when I was trying to gather resources. And I had one when I was heading up the uh, AFK ladder and just fell off. So we're gonna, we're gonna take care of that right now. Hi, diamonds. Off the bridge. But at least it's looking nice. Uh, I may have to terraform this just a little bit to get the bridge to look good, but you know. Okay, so I finished the bridge over here. I gotta say, with more chains, it's still really hard to see, but it, it looks a lot better than just having them spaced out farther. The reason I did that was honestly I was missing the iron. That's part of the reason why I wanted to, to rush the iron farm. But yeah, more chains is definitely, definitely better. Now I just need to do little tops with the, uh, the lights, and this side will be finished. Aside from terraforming over there to make it look nicer. Really need to uh, fix that bridge in the nether. Oh no, I'm at spawn. Oh, it's because I broke my bed. Ah. Uh, so we're uh, heading to Rift's place. So I've started working on the last bridge here, and I think I might redesign all of them. And I'm only saying this because this looks... I always thought this touching the, the base here was off. And... I kind of, kind of want to raise it like three or four blocks and see how that looks. And I might do that. Okay, so I finished off uh, the fourth bridge, but I did it in a different style. I raised it up by uh, four blocks here. And uh, yeah, then Riff came over and said she likes it both ways. And that got me to think... Um, I do kind of like the higher thing. The reason why I wasn't very happy with these is just because of how low these lights hang. I didn't like that. And if I were to move this over one block and extend both the sides, actually this one would have to go over two blocks, but extend the both sides and make these five wide bridges, I could have a taller one down the middle connect it up and hang the lights off of that so it looks a lot more it's going to look a whole lot better i'm going to have to redesign all these bridges that's another project for another day 
So after Riff uh, came by, um, she quested me with uh, getting her some prismarines. So I had to find, I got the rest of the supplies to make a guardian farm, but I need uh, water breathing. And well, oh, it's right there, so we're good. I was hoping to make it out of there without dying. Uh, that was not the case. But I do have to add uh, three more to that for falling off of the bridging last night uh, while I was building that bridge. So that's fun. So I have Rip with me here, uh, the main antagonist for me having to go and try and do all of this. Uh, I just have to get my inventory sorted and then we can get going. But now we have all of these supplies to build a uh, monument farm. We just need to make some more invisibility potions, and then we'll... Uh, that's not all the supplies. I think we need a bunch of netherrack as well. But we're going to have to make a few trips to ferry it all over there. So we have all of the stuff uh, to start building the farm. Um, it's in these chests and everything. Uh, first off, uh, I need to get rid of all of the clothes. We're going to go over to that farm and try and convert it into, well, that monument and turn it into a farm. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been a long day. Now, unfortunately, I am going to be watching a tutorial. It's by Logical Geek Boy. Um, and uh, so I won't be uh, talking much during the build. Now, one of the main reasons I um, am okay with doing a guardian farm this early is because I am going to need an absolute, like half a million ink sacks and this farm does a pretty good job of getting ink sacks and I might modify it to even improve the odds beyond that. It's times like this where the extended reach would really come in handy. I'm just realizing that uh, my spaceship is going to go right here and it's probably going to be from about there all the way to there so the the monument is going to be in uh, frame. Hello. Uh, I don't think we'll need it for... Oh, okay. Here, the next part of this is we need to fill up the... Or get rid of the water above the hoppers. And now we need to put down the campfires. So not in that one. You take the campfires that are in there. We'll put them down. Look at all those angry guardians wanting to get a piece of me. Soon they will be... Uh, I, I can't stand guardians. They're going to be roasted. Now comes the fun part, uh, the soul sand. Then we don't have the soul sand. Are you kidding me? I was killed after I drank the invisibility. It's guardians. This is definitely the most annoying part of all of this. Okay, unfortunately we ran out of invisibility potions, so we're going to have to go make some more. And we're almost done with this farm, so that's good. I just realized I'm going to have to make this run home uh, through the nether without my armor because I forgot to grab it. And I don't have arrows. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to make this run without armor at least. Give me somewhat of a chance. Funnily enough, I got killed on my way back. Uh, you're definitely going to need a safer and easier way to get down here because right now it's, it's a little treacherous. Okay, got the item uh, elevators in. That was more of a pain because I realized I also didn't have uh, repeaters and I wasn't going to go all the way back again to get them. So now all we have to do is, it, yeah, this is almost done. We just have to tear out the netherrack, put in, or put in some water. To, ah, don't tear out the netherrack yet. Put in some water, tear out the netherrack. We're good, I think. Okay, the farm is technically up and running now. We should have... Uh, Prismarine and the light coming through, hopefully, now that the uh, guardians are dying, so that's good. And now we just need to roof it all over, uh, aside from... Oh, I don't have invisibility anymore. Oh, no. I have to put a line of glass down the middle here, so that'll be fun. What? But... This one isn't dispensing anything. You put the hoppers in wrong? No, look, the stuff's in the dispenser. Ooh. Definitely not because I uh, put the uh, beaters in backwards.
Oh, look at all that goodies. This, uh, the farm is now complete, minus the storage system and uh, the AFK tower. We just need to light up the roof here. But it's already uh, producing quite the amount of stuff. And I realize I built this uh, wrong. Really unfortunate. Easy. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fix it. That's that's not happening. But uh, I'll be able to at least fix it uh, with water stream. Now this definitely isn't as many chests as I want. But I'm. I don't know where our hoppers went. It's likely they uh, despawned when we were fixing up issues with the uh, hoppers down there. But that's okay. We can add and subtract later on. I take that back. It will be more of an issue than I thought. Uh, it still might work. We'll, we'll see. I'll have to figure out a better fix for this later on, but this will do for now. I can't believe we were that short on ladders. Good thing I thought of a, a backup plan. Uh, my backup plan failed immediately. We'll fix this. I think that'll work. Maybe. All right. While we're waiting for the water to uh, fix itself, water moves way faster going down than it does uh, cleaning up. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, the farm here. Make sure it's working as intended. I see those lights flashing like crazy, so that's a good sign. And if we hop down, there are a ton of guardians burning. It's, it's a glorious sight. So this honestly only took us about an hour and a half to build and probably uh, an hour to collect resources for. Yeah, this is uh, this is really nice. And I'll get at least some uh, squid ink in. I may have to build a dedicated farm for that though. And honestly, after only a few minutes of sitting up there, this isn't, uh, this isn't a bad haul. Like I said, it gets a lot of uh, squid, so that is really good. And unfortunately, I realized a little bit too late in this episode that uh, the gain on my microphone, it has a little wheel to change it. Uh, I must have scrolled it or something because it keeps changing my uh, audio levels, and I need to figure out a way to stop that from happening because it is uh, very truly annoying. But now I'm going to work on uh, this bridge and redo it. It's going to take me a minute, so I, I may not even do it today. It's it's already getting late in the, the evening, and building the monument farm, or the guardian farm, was a bit much... Oh, I thought that... Oh, that is a piglin. I was going to say, I thought that zombie had a pig attached to it. That makes way more sense. How did it get iron armor? That is, uh, my aim is atrocious. That is crazy. Don't hurt the pig. There we go. Oh, you know what it was? I threw down my old iron armor and he picked it up. That's exactly what happened. That makes way more sense. So Rift's been AFK for just over an hour and uh, we've already got six in, a little over a half stacks of ink. So that is a small dent in what I need, but it works. I'm also going to steal some of these so that I can uh, make a bridge that'll help us get down here a lot easier. Oh, hello. I don't want you. It's not the prettiest, uh, but it will save us a little bit of time getting to and from that uh, guardian farm. I keep calling it a monument farm. I don't know why. Ow. Okay, so I was looking or in the nether trying to uh, repair my silk touch pickaxe because I need a lot of stone, and I found a bastion. So I'm going to attempt to uh, take it out, or at least peek inside and see if I can find anything. I'm, I'm going to die. But first, let's uh, finish off what I came here to do and get this uh, Silk Touch pickaxe uh, repaired. All right, well, the path to the gold is at least clear, so I'm going to go grab that. And maybe some of the arrows that I shot, because I'm a terrible shot. I fell in lava. That's that's annoying. <sighs> okay, so I died <sighs> twice at the Guardian Farm, and I don't even know how many times in the uh, the Nether. So it, it wasn't that many. At least four. Where's my flint and steel? Ah, I'm just gonna burn nine. 
But at least I ha no, no where a Bastion is, and uh, I now have my Silk Touch pickaxe or healed back up, so I can go get enough cobblestone to redo this entire bridge. It's definitely funny once you get an iron farm. Uh, you really don't want iron. I, I just need stone. I need copious amounts of stone. So I've been kind of poking holes trying to find the caves that I still haven't lit up. Uh, but I keep running into stuff I don't want, like diorite and iron. Ah, I picked up the diorite. Darn it. Yeah. Uh, and copper. I don't need copper. at Well, I do need copper. I take that back. I do need copper. And I will eventually need diorite and granite and andesite and all that. I just, I just need a lot of stone right now. I take it back. After thinking about it, I'm probably going to use andesite to kind of decorate and give the uh, the bridges some texture. So I will pick this up. But I really need stone and lots of it. And I just uh, stumbled across another uh, zombie spawner with another enchanted golden apple. That is crazy. I've gotten two of them. Take the horse armor. And this is way closer to my base. My base is, like, right there. In fact, we'll just do this and go up. Yeah, my base is right there. It's way closer than the other one. That's awesome. And I found another zombie spawner. This one is actually really... I backed myself into a corner. There's so many zombies here. This is crazy. I'm glad I restocked my arrows before I came down here. Yeah, this one is really close to the other one. I don't think it's close enough. But, uh... I was hoping for another enchanted apple. Um, yeah, that's crazy that there's two of them. There was a lot of unlit uh, caves down here. So I'm definitely going to need to, uh... Well, that. Oh, there is a massive cave down here. Uh, that is... That is a lot of area. Oh, wait. I really don't don't particularly care to deal with Oh I missed. He's he's taken care of. I also realize I really, really need a beacon. But uh, that's something we want to attempt. I mean I know where a fortress is now. I'll have to think about that overnight. It's getting late. And I have mine stone. The zombie just pushed me off the bridge. Uh, I need more beds around this place. So I just came over to Riff has been AFK all night. Clear out these to make sure that they're still going. We've got a lot of squid ink. Not a lot, but I need to massively expand these. Uh, the problem is, I move the portal. I don't have a flint and steel, which it's it's annoying. So I just came back over to the uh, Guardian farm. Uh, it's been about two hours since I emptied all of these into the chests. And it does produce a decent amount of uh, ink. But also, a decent amount of everything else. Uh, this I really need to make a uh, sorter or something for this. There's a dolphin dying. That's sad. I also cannot wait till uh, the crafters are in the game because... Then I can just set this up, since there is technically four channels, um, I can just set this up to uh, one producing... I can even set it up to producing all of the Guardian Farm outputs, which will simplify things a lot. I can't wait for that. Okay, so I redid the bridge entirely. Um, I tried a few different things, like putting fences in the, uh, the floor there to make it look like it has holes. Um, I tried a different style of arch there. I just don't know how I feel about it. Like, I just, I don't know if I like it. I do like the bottom. Um, I just don't know if I like the top or not. I'll have to see what Riff says, and if anyone has any thoughts on it, let me know in the comments. But, uh, yeah, this... I, I would hate to do this to all three of them. Like, expanding this isn't going to be too bad to five wide, because I do like the five wide instead of the three wide. I do like how I did the lights on the side instead, which makes it look a little bit nicer. I don't know about the fences. I, I'm either going to go one of two ways. I'm either going to replace all of these with fences, or, uh, yeah, I'll have to see.
The only problem with place, replacing everything with fences is I would have to uh, double up the strip logs here, which I, I do really like the strip logs because they can be seen from down below and they look a lot nicer. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go with the, the fences. As cool as it would look to make it look like a rope bridge. Oh no, I'm selling myself on the uh, rope bridge part. Yeah, because you don't even notice it. It just all fits. Oh, see how that looks from below. I mean, it looks interesting. It definitely looks old. <sighs> that would mean I'd have to redesign the entire bridge. To only go off the half slopes. Which wouldn't be... Oh, no. I need to I need to think about this because um, uh, I do like the bottom I just like I said I'm not sold on the top let me know what you think um, but I'm going to work on something else now because I need food better than uh, baked potatoes so part of what I need uh, to make the farm that I'm thinking is ice so I was uh, I found an ice biome and I was trying to make a uh, nether portal I may just go up in the ceiling get to it and I found uh, another bastion we're going to try again. I think the chests are up there. I have no problem sniping them from over here or even getting a little bit closer. This one will be a lot easier to take out. And in the first chest, uh, nothing too great. I'll take the banner patterns and everything. That's unfortunate. And in the second two chests, that wasn't what I meant to do, uh, I guess we'll take, take the pork chop just in case. Ah. Uh, I was really looking forward to Pig Step. So I'll take the iron too. Now I know there's a treasure room in there, so we're going to see. I have a feeling this will end up with me dead. I mean, it, it wouldn't matter either way, because I, like I said, I think I'm going to do a tunnel on the roof to the ice. It'll just be easier than trying to navigate lava and all that. But uh, let's see what we can find here. It seems to be empty. I don't trust that for a second, but uh, we'll peek around here and fall down multiple levels at once. That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Yeah, I knew it wasn't empty. They're all there. Get rid of that. Now I just need to clear them out. Unfortunately, nothing... Uh, I'll take the crying obsidian. Ooh, an amending crossbow. You know what? I will take that. Need to work my way down to the bottom here. He moved. And unfortunately, I've run out of arrows, which is not good. This could pose a challenge. I need to get down to that chest without dying. In fact, there were arrows in the chest, so I'm, I'm good. I may have... Oh, I can't go back up, but I should have taken them from the other chest, too. Okay, I'm on top of the chest. I've worked my way down. I don't think outside of... Magma slime. Uh, I mean, I will take those. I'm definitely going to take the uh, netherite scrap and the smithing upgrade and the spectral arrows. In fact, I'll ditch the bone blocks. Yeah, I want the gold too. Yeah, now I'm going to need enough nether to get out or nether wart to get a rack, nether rack to get out of here because I'm going to go straight up after I steal the gold. In fact, I almost was ended by the blaze because they uh, they were encroaching fast. So, in fact, I can actually put some of this stuff on here. Let's toss the uh, these into the uh, lava there and get out. Of course, the direction I went to go completely up is uh, uh, full of lava, so that's unfortunate. We're gonna try and uh, I'm either gonna burn here or I'm gonna do something. Amazing. No, I'm going to burn. Hopefully I don't die. And I did get rid of the lava, so there's that. This is going to be very close. Very, very close. Let me... Let me... Oh. Whew. That's good. It wasn't all the lava. Uh... Oh, oh no. 
Mm -mm. I'm gonna stick to diamond. You know what? I think that's fair. Since it's the first one I got, goodbye. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot. It doesn't burn. Okay. Well, I can't do that then, so I guess we'll just go back to diamond. I thought I had burnt it, and I was just like, oh, I was trying to burn it again, but no. Okay. So I'm back over at the Guardian Farm because uh, Rift just continues to AFK over here, and it had massively overflowed the system again. No, oh, why did it do that? So I have come in and I have redone the chests here. I have doubled them up so that hopefully it doesn't. Uh, or it well, it doubles the storage. Plus, I added another uh, layer of chests. So that's what a quarter ish. So I've, it's about 120% more uh, storage uh, on here now. So hopefully this won't back up as much, but I mean it still will. This is what... Oh, she's already taken some. This is what we've uh, acquired, or what I've uh, turned into blocks. There is still... I, of course I picked the empty chest. There is still tons of it that we uh, have sorted through on both sides here. And a ton of fish. But more importantly, there is a ton of uh, squid ink. So I am most excited for that, and hopefully this system will capture more. And I think what I'm going to do um, here very shortly, not today, possibly this weekend, is um, put on slices to uh, pull out just squid ink, and then we're going to burn the rest. Uh, that way, at least um, we get the fish and all the, the shards and whatnot. But most importantly, we keep the ink because these farms just produce way more than we'll ever use. This is probably already mo way more than we'll ever use. Aside from maybe the uh, sea lanterns, which I'm going to take a bunch as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, now back to trying to get ice. Shot a pigment and fell off the bridge. I swear, every time I come out of this portal now, there's another gas shooting it. This one actually broke it. Thankfully, I have flint and steel on me, but... Ah, uh, every time I come out of the portal. Fell off the bridge, or a staircase I was trying to make. Fell while speed digging. That was fun. Fell again while speed uh, digging, but that's... It actually helped, because I realized I forgot the obsidian here somewhere. There it is. I had no idea the nether reached up to bedrock in so many places. Now hopefully this goes where I uh, needed it to go. Break my legs. Um, no. Not an ice ocean. Not even close. I wonder if I messed something up. This is much more promising. Alright, I need to collect... A bunch of ice. I'm gonna have to toss the nether rack, but yep, time to collect ice. I opened up, uh, I was running away from an enderman and went into a wall that just had lava. So that was extremely unfortunate. I did get the ice, but uh, I was trying to repair my silk touch, silk touch pickaxe. So that was really unfortunate. So I went back to the nether just to grab a few levels um, to mend or combine this bow. I found uh, ancient debris just really high up. I did not know that could happen. Interesting. So it's the next uh, IRL day, and uh, I just uh, finished adding all the clips together and editing the video to see what my time was at, and I'm almost at 30 minutes. So I think the the food farm was going to wait till the next one because I have no idea where I want to put it. Um, plus, I really need to potentially finish this off for it to work anyway. So I don't know why I thought I needed uh, ice so quickly. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to wait for the next one. Plus I have another idea for a shop that I want to do. So I think... I don't know how far I'll get on making the collection for this yet. Um, that the, the collection system itself will be very easy, so I'm not that worried about that. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh... It was a bit on the chaotic side. I had a lot of deaths this one, so 
Thank you for watching and hopefully you have a good rest of your day.